It's time for Quarantine Cabaret Cocktails with Robert Bannon and Lee Lessig. Help. It's season's greetings. Season's greetings. It's December. It's the holiday shows, Lee. I love it. That's why I put up a wreath. I put on this sweater that says Happy Lamaka for <laughs> Hanukkah. Of course you did. Uh, yes. Thank you, Target. Do you like live in a prop house? Yes, actually, I do. That's what I do on the My garage is full of things. Wait till oh, next week. We'll have a live nativity. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, welcome to week 34. Which is insane. That's crazy. 34 weeks that we have been locked in this room, but with all of you. And we missed you last week. Hard, right? Last week was the first week that we didn't have a show. I know, I know. But we did our we did our little pre-show Instagram live chat check in. And we, sure did. we sure did, and we are so grateful uh, to spend these next this week and two more following weeks doing some holiday shows for you and ending out this. Thank God, twenty twenty is almost over, Lee. Thank God. <laughs> I know. This decade of my life. Literally, because I'm one of those people that does not leave the house. Um, and I have been in my house for 270 days. <laughs> I leave my house just to buy dumb props for this show. <laughs> you like bought a funnel cake machine one week when we did Amish week. You've just done everything. <laughs> we Yes, Amish week was quite an exciting week. You know, I grew up in Pennsylvania. Yes. So very close to Lee was Amish once. <laughs> but like funnel cake is like a it's a thing. And I had cherry, oh, cherry funnel cake. You lost me a cherry. Oh, okay. Well you can have blueberry. I'm older than you, but but when I was a kid, chapstick came out with flavored chapsticks. They mm -hmm. came out with cherry, mint, and mint. I think just those two at first. And my sister uh, got one. I mean, I was a tiny kid and I kicked and screamed, I wanted the cherry one. And so my dad finally, you know, gave in and <laughs> I put it on and the smell made me so nauseous that I refused to use the chapstick. I understand. That's my story. Well, I'm happy you told us and you got that out so that hopefully you can deal with those repressed cherry feelings. <laughs> There's nothing worse than repressed cherry feelings. Absolutely. <laughs> I hate this show. Well, right. <laughs> so you went, your school, you went back to school and then, you know. Well, now we're virtual. So here in Jersey, here in North Bergen School District, I'm back home. We're back to Zoom calls. Lee was on the phone with me the other day. He heard a little voice, a little 10-year-old asking. Mr. Bannon, Mr. Bannon. <laughs> Nothing haunts me like Mr. Bannon 105,000 times a day during the day. Um, you can go. We can talk later. And you're like, no. <laughs> They're safe. We're safe. I hope everyone was safe with this Thanksgiving. I know for a lot of people, it was a very odd Thanksgiving. People were virtually cutting turkey and not being, you know, my family wasn't together in the way that we normally are either. So I, I just want us all to be safe and uh, hopefully get out of this. But you had a good Thanksgiving? I did. We was in my immediate family um, and my brother cooked and my brother is quite the chef and I am not. I was just telling Lee that I got new pots today because my pots were literally falling apart. I I don't that. But you don't cook. Cooked. You should see the spread that Lee cooked. I literally cooked for thirty five people. There were only two, but I cooked for thirty five. <laughs> and you had can have turkey sandwiches forever, which is the best part. Oh, I did like turkey white bean chili. I googled the next morning. You know what's the best thing to do with leftover turkey. And this recipe came up and I, yeah. I I want to come over for turkey white bean chili. You can. Okay, deal. When I when you're not locked down, California, you guys are really back locked. locked. We are locked down. I know. I know. Anyway, stay safe. I know. Please, everybody. Stay. And wear the mask. For God's mm -hmm. sake. Next week, Lee, while, we, while you're here, next week, everybody, is a, another big Christmas show. 
Um, yes. Yes. Next week, we have um, three friends, super talented friends that have all released albums. Two of them are holiday albums. One is a, a lullaby album of all Broadway artists that Aaron Lazar produced um, called Broadway Lullabies. So he's going to be on. Um, Matt Bloyd has a gorgeous new holiday album. And Liz Calloway in quarantine recorded with just a guitar player um, a holiday album. So she's going to be on. And then Shoshana Bean, for the last two years, has uh, produced a concert at the Apollo Theater in New York uh, with Cynthia Erivo that I live on in LA, so I had not seen it. You've been twice, I know. And it's incredible, right? Incredible. Yeah. So uh, they are doing a virtual concert from the Apollo mm -hmm. Theater next Saturday, the 12th. So Shoshana is going to be on with some guests from her show to talk about it. Super excited. Um, we have a great show tonight. Um, I saw like on Facebook or Playbill or Broadway World or something like that, that the three women that um, starred as the Fates in Hades Town released a holiday album uh, called If the Fates Allow. And so I got it and I was blown away. This is literally the most gorgeous album. The harmonies are ridiculous. It is just, I've listened to it nonstop. Um, and so um, they're all here, which thrills me. And so we're excited to talk to them. But first up, uh, uh, two of our friends, David Burnham and Joe Donahoe, um, have um, a, 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 a group called the Tinseltone Carol Car Carolers. Joe created this group, and he'll tell you all about it. They um, have a group in LA and in Vegas. And in normal uh, years, they would do private events and corporate events and you know public appearances and all that and obviously that is not happening and so joe and david have figured out a way to make this virtual and it's really really cool and so i'm excited for you to meet them but i want to show you a little bit about what they're doing No, you don't. Oh, all right. Hi, David and Joey. Hey, Hello. guys. Thanks for having us. Wait, let's get first things first. Oh, oh. yes. Cheers. Cheers. Well, look, you notice Cheers. the candy. Cheers. I love candy cane in your in your glass. You know, we came ready to deck the halls. De we are ready. I David was on the show uh, weeks ago uh, to talk about a duet that he did with Lee and a project. And Joey, welcome to our little show. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. It's an honor. We so tell me what I know that Joe, you, know, you have this group that is very successful, and obviously, um, you know, you make your living in November and December. Um, so. <laughs> 
tell me how this all came to be. <clears throat> well, um, I've had this company since 2008. Um, I started with a friend and um, we've expanded across kind of the country. More recently, we sort of broke it up into two different branches. So now I'm running the LA branch and the Vegas branch. Wow. Um, and frankly, I myself depend on these three months to kind of get me through and be creative other other venues throughout the year. Um, so when they started shutting down everything, especially in LA, I was like, uh, well, you know, we got to do something. So, um, but we, we employ generally around 45 carolers. That's just in Los Angeles alone, um, probably 25 in Vegas. Um, so, and I know a lot of, a lot of my friends depend on this to buy gifts for their family, for their kids, for everything, you know? So, um, I grew up in the eighties, so I thought, why not a choose your own adventure show that's on zoom where you can literally pick what they do next. And it can get kind of, you know, I think the books were usually like, should they go to outer space or an open <laughs> adventure? It's always something random, but um, we kind of contained it into the holidays and it was so much fun. I wrote it with my friend, Kelly Myersfield, who's a comedian, if you will. And we had a great time doing it. This is the set right here. It's usually done at nighttime, so we're getting some afterglow. But um, yeah, so we had a great time producing it and building the set and David's the host. Um, he's great at it and we just have a really good time. Um, David, the set is in your garage, right? It's a garage, yeah. You can kind of see. It looks amazing. You guys oh, did a great That's the problem. It looks so good that I thought it was fake. I thought it was like oh one God. of those like Zoom backgrounds. Like it looks amazing. That's Thank so you. Fun. That's so yeah, fun. It's a garage. <laughs> <laughs> and David, Go ahead, Lee. Yeah, no, give us an idea of, you know, okay, so we want to have a, a caroling party. So what happens? Oh, so, Charlie. Say hello, Bubba. Say hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So if you wanted to have a, if you're having a party, or let's say you have a part, an annual event every year, you do it with your family, or maybe you do it with the whole neighborhood then you would call, you would go to tinseltonesonline.com. Um, I'm gonna say it's tinsel tones as opposed to town, which is kind of the, <laughs> it happens most occasionally. Um, so tinseltonesonline.com, it will guide you from there. It's a very clear site. The next thing you can do, you can either book it right online, you can ask for a quote, um, and we would get the order. You would come onto a Zoom call. You can have your Aunt Flo, your Uncle Remus, your everyone you want, you can have come, Check it out, um, different screens. Um, so, and, and we'll just kind of guide the process. David is a wonderful guide. He'll take you step by step and teach you um, the magic of Christmas via Choose Your Own Adventure. Um, so you can have, you can have participants um, in all over the country in your party. <laughs> yeah, nationwide. You can have someone from New Jersey, someone from Texas, someone from Colorado and someone from LA. And um, just do your, it's, it would be, you know, if you're having like a Zoom event, a party on Zoom or a business gathering, it can be, it's 25 minutes long. So it's your entertainment for the evening. And it features Broadway's very own David Burnham. As wow. well. <laughs> I was going to say, David is obviously, we know David from Wicked. We know David from his concert appearances. We know David from, he does a, a Tom Jones show that he, that, that Lee and him have put together into his toured the world. Uh, you know, he had nothing to do with it. Okay. <laughs> but it does, and it's the the promo of it. I mean, David's voice is bananas. Who are the other? What are the singers? What what can you expect? I'm sure that the singers you guys have that are caroling are bar none amazing. Yeah, we have a group of um, you know this year it's a smaller group. It's people who are able to quarantine together or quarantine within a small household. Um, and we're doing I mean because it's important to me to keep the carolers safe as well. So we're doing weekly tests and making sure that everyone's being safe within the, because we still have to be together for the show, you know? Right. So we have a cast that it's, um, it, it might be a different cast from show to show. Um, I'm a swing. <laughs> so, um, just in my understudy. We heard that. Yeah. You. Yes, understudying. Yes. It's a, it's a huge credit for my resume. Understudying <laughs> probably David <Burnham. laughs> um, but no, we have, uh, the, the standard cast, as it stands now, is Kelly Dorney, who's a fantastic soprano. 
Kelly Myersfield, who ropes the show as well. She's a hilarious alto. Um, uh, John De La Porta is our tenor. He's a fantastic local local LA tenor. And um, the bass is Cole. Cole. Cole Cuomo. Yep. Yeah. A Long Beach native who's um, wonderful. Great. What a he's beautiful a voice. Hear his voice. He's got this like voice, booming, yeah. a booming yeah. kind of voice. It's really. And beautiful. you'll be offering this all through. December. Yeah, yeah. We we anticipate our um, New Year's Eve and our Christmas Day to be the biggest days. So if you're looking for those dates, I would say to contact us yeah. ASAP. But um, we plan on doing it straight through um, December 25th and post Christmas. Should anybody want to have a, a <laughs> holiday soiree after the holiday? Um, yes, Christmas in February. I'm here yes. for it. July, Christian July is a thing, yeah. right? Why not? Why not? Why not? I think it's fantastic. I yeah. think it's uh, it's a great idea, and we've all had to learn how to, you know, be innovative. And well, for me, what's really fun because because I'm the host and I kind of guide the the audience at home through all these choices that they have to make, and it's really fun because I get to, I mean, it's it's kind of like watching a TV show that you get to interact with and decide how the TV show is going to go. You know, you your choices dictate what the carolers do. So, for instance, like. Uh, the carolers all come on the scene, but the tenor's late. So he comes bursting on the scene, he trips and falls, and then all of a sudden, I, I ring a bell. All the action stops, and I say, all right, it's your turn. Do you want the tenor to break his arm, or you just want him to have broken pride? So they get to choose which direction it's gonna go, and if it's kind of fun when, you know, we've done test, test audiences, they get brutal sometimes, I gotta say. <laughs> um, if he breaks his arm, then the whole rest of the show, the, the show he's got a broken arm, and he gets a, it takes you in a whole different way, and it's really funny. It's, it's, it's very fun, and it's a lot of improv, and then uh, they get to pick which songs they sing, and and who, and actually, there's a, a thing where they uh, they fall in love, maybe with someone in the audience, just maybe. I'm saying maybe, uh, we don't know. Maybe, maybe. You know, something like that. So one of the audience members actually might have a few lines. It's very interactive, and the more people interact, the more fun we have. So for me, it's just it's just really fun because it's it's a 25 minute free for all party. So the sillier and wilder the the audience is, the more fun we all have. Wow, so you're going to be busy on Christmas. Yes. <laughs> you know, what else are you going to do? I'm locked in a house. I know. I know. Yeah. Well, they go to tinseltonesonline.com. Exactly. That's right. I'll put up a banner and uh, and 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 hope you get a lot of business. Yes, listen, yes. if you, your family is not with you or if your family is with you, instead of sitting around the table and fighting about politics and, and, and who's doing the ditches, you could have you could have a cast of carolers and David in your house for your for your holiday. So fine, but we're all looking for a way not to speak to our family. <laughs> this could be the twenty five minutes you don't have to talk. Freedom. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do the talking for you. <laughs> I, love I love it. Well, we wish you all the best. I hope it's Thank super you so much. successful. I love your set, David. You're always amazing, so uh, we know you're going to be entertaining. And I even get, I even do get to sing one song. I was going to say, does David get to sing? He gets one song. One song, right at the end. You'll just you wait, just you wait. Well, if you want to hear David sing, he has albums out. You could stream them everywhere that albums are available. David Burnham's oh, album. Only here. <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas I have will be on uh, Tinsel Tones. Sorry. Yeah, there you here go. Christmas, Tinsel Tones. That's right. Well, stay safe. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, yeah, for sure. And and we'll put it up on, on, on the screen so people don't forget. Tinseltonesonline.com. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Stay safe. Be well. What a great idea. So fun. I love it. Oh, love yeah. It. I can't sing a harmony a cappella for nothing. They can. And our next guest surely can. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I, you know, I saw the show when I was in New York in January and loved it. I just thought it, it was the artistry was like, like nothing I've ever seen. You know, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. And when I read about this album, 
I immediately listened to it and I was stunned of harmony work. And I don't know if they recorded this during this quarantine. We're going to talk about it. It is gorgeous. It is really gorgeous. I am so excited that they're here. The second this album, the second this album starts with "Thank God It's Christmas," the second they start singing, I'm done. done. I'm done. I know. Gorgeous. I know. I know. So I want to show because a lot of people don't know about Hades Town um, unless they've been to New York. Um, so I'm going to show a montage of the musical um, that uh, that will give you an idea of of, of what it's about, and, and then we're going to talk to the ladies. Loving you were gone so long Lover, I was long some Think of it as my desire Show the way the world be If you can do it, so can she If she can do it, so can we Show the way are so stunning inside and out talented and as gorgeous vocals together and in the show as humanly possible <laughs> thank you it's so kind wow well, thank you for joining us I, this album is so it is my christmas gift it is so Aww. beautifully done when did you record this during the pandemic literally a month ago <laughs> How? or maybe a month and a half we well sober yeah you wanna, who wants yeah, to take it away? <laughs> I mean, basically we, uh, I had the idea to put together this album and when I brought it to the label and then to Hades Town, like we had this much time to get it done. So we, everyone just did their part. We got arrangements made, we got the band recorded in a, so, you know, in a very, we did all we the We're still learning music in the recording studio. <laughs> yeah. In the booth. <laughs> <laughs> and then the three of us were able to get together and record you know, everything in our own little booth, obviously, but we did it in like a couple days and then, wow. and then it got mixed and mastered and now it's in the world. That's <laughs> yeah. incredible. And who, who uh, created your um, vocal arrangements and harmonies and whatnot? Cause they're just fantastic. That's Liam, Liam Robinson, our um, fabulous music director over at Hades Town. He is very gifted. Yeah, he could do that in such a short period of time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, is a testament to his to his gift. Yeah, wow. And well, one of the songs is written by one of the writers of the song, Lynn Shankle, who um, yeah. he called "Twas the Night Before Christmas." So she did one of the arrangements. But Liam is like, he was a beast. He knocked out yeah. thirteen songs in like yeah. a matter of weeks. Well, and it is also it. cool, like we, you know, he was the person we worked with the entire time learning the show. So he knows us three very well in our yeah. vocal abilities, and so. It was easy to say, yeah, you take it away, Liam. You know what you're doing. <laughs> well, you got as, this. As I said, the second the, the album starts, it's just hauntingly gorgeous. That song, um, you know, Winter Song, 
Oh my goodness, the arrangement and how beautiful. How, and then you have a ton of guests on the album as well. It's so yeah. great. It's so great. I want to just flash the, the album cover. It might cut some of you off for a moment, but it's worth it. <laughs> Look at Ooh. that. Wow. Yeah. How <laughs> oh, dare you go to the side. <laughs> no. I just everywhere. got my copy in the mail actually the other day, and I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's on iTunes and Spotify and everywhere. And yeah. Amazon and wherever fine music is sold. I'm so glad you guys <laughs> like it. That's so happy. It makes oh, me so no. happy to hear that. No, no, we've listened to it since the day came out. <laughs> no, it was really, it was the, it was a, it was a surprise gift. I didn't know that it was happening. I, I saw this um, uh, online, and um, and then Robert um, texted me and he said, "This album is absolutely stunning." And I was like, "Okay." And I got away from my desk and I took my iPad out by the pool and put on my speakers and, and pulled it up on Spotify. And I was like, oh my God. Oh. I Yay. love the music <laughs> that, um, that was written for it is, you know, they, they feel like Christmas classics. Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing. The, the new songs feel like classics. Good. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a good thing yeah. to hear. I mean, it's, it's also special too because it's not just like a Christmas album to me. It's kind of like a winter, a winter yeah. album. A lot of it is about the season and the feeling, and it's very now, um, especially what we're we are going through. So it, it, it you know it kind of touches on on just togetherness and hope, and yeah. uh, it's just a really nice melancholy melodious yeah. mixture of songs. Mm -hmm. And just yes ending that, I love like the togetherness, that word you used, Joella, because like I feel like inclusivity across like the board was like present in this album. Like we got to use everybody from the cast. Mm -hmm. We Perfect. included so many different styles of music and like it just feels like we got to have a Hanukkah song on there, mm -hmm. obviously lots of Christmas songs, but it just felt like inclusion. It was really like, it, I think it's like also the spirit of Town, which like part of Absolutely. the point of the album. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and how are you all doing in this quarantine? Oh, oh, Lee. <laughs> so, okay, you go. For it. No, I mean, uh, silver yeah. linings were, uh, you know, I'm spending time with family I wouldn't be able to otherwise spend time with. So I'm going to take all the good I can out of this ugly time, you know? And um, yeah, grateful for the time we otherwise wouldn't have if we were doing eight shows a week. Yeah. Um, you know, we have to turn it on. Uh, on its head since it is what it is and um yeah so really grateful for the time to be able to you know forge stronger relationships with our loved ones very true yeah, yeah it's nice to be back in in canada because katie's town took me away from my my son I while i was come, out, come back and forth and stuff but so this has been a blessing in disguise oh, wow. where in canada are you uh just outside of toronto oh nice. yeah, 20 minutes east yeah oh. nice I haven't gotten to see my family at all. So I've had like to fill my days with a lot of other things, like make things up. <laughs> so I've been creative and like putting projects together like this album and just like um, doing online shows and just trying to learn new skills. <laughs> right, right. Uh, had, been, um, what's that? Go on. I was gonna say that we um, at the beginning of, of, our, of our run of this show, we had the, the principal cast of Mrs. Doubtfire on. And, um, you know, of course, they were like in tech or previews and, and, you know, and we had the kids on and, you know, you know, as adults, how hard and sad it was for your show to take a break. But they hadn't even opened yet. And, yeah. and these are young kids. I mean, it was really, and Aww. McClure, you know, he has a baby girl and he said, you know, I would never get to spend this kind of time with with my daughter, so yeah. it's like a blessing, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, so. absolutely. And people we've had on, we, we had Patrick Page on it and his wife Paige Davis on the show, and he does a great duet. Andre DeShield does a really fun <laughs> duet. Andre. Of course. 
It's um, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> and he sang it basically in a Santa suit while he was recording it. It was. Oh, it was I yeah, had a Santa hat like that fell down to his knees. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Very Andre. Very Andre. Well, I love it. A little information about Ju Joel. You you have been Lion King, and we will rock you. But I heard and I read in our research, you were quite the accordion player. <laughs> oh gosh! Well, <laughs> I learned it from Joe. So <laughs> when I got cast, so I'm a violinist, um, and so when I got cast for Broadway, I assumed that I'd be playing the violin once again, um, but apparently not. <laughs> 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 Liam was like, you're musical, Joelle. You play the piano. You can play the accordion. I was like, okay. My mother was like, are you sure you want to debut on Broadway playing the accordion? And I was like, <laughs> like, I guess. So yeah, it was hard. It it was hard. And actually, I have to be honest, I think I've forgotten it now. I would actually have to start all over again. I'm I, sure. I was just reading yeah. an article about, about what it, will it take when for shows to reopen, how much time will it take to get everything back on its feet? What do you think? I think a regular rehearsal process. So like two months is pretty normal, but I would say like a month and a half. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, six weeks. Six yeah. weeks. I think six weeks, it could be done. I think six weeks. Yeah. Too much is generous. <laughs> Too much is, yeah, that was not gonna happen. But when you showed us that clip in the, like the opening montage, I was like, Oh my god, that's right! Oh yeah, like there's so <laughs> much. So, like. <laughs> so pretty, but like all, it was. It's been so long. Like Joelle said, it was like it's been eight months. Like it's yeah, it's been so long. It's hard to remember all that information, yeah. and all the emotions, and all just everything. It's just a lot. Yeah, I hear Larry remember Bo now, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's beautiful. Like <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, so I remember being like two weeks into into quarantine and it's like, okay, I should rehearse. I should rehearse all the music. Right. So I would like, uh, I, I played through the CD. I was in the shower. My husband come in, comes in. He's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm rehearsing just in case, you know, I just need to know everything. I still need to know stuff. Right. That's right. Two That's weeks so good in. Of well, Carrie, if, you're, if you've seen Kay, Kay, Kay was in The, uh, the Little Mermaid uh, on Broadway. She's in Bear. And I'm sure that this show, Hades Town and The Little Mermaid are, are quite a different beast. Um, <laughs> how, <laughs> but both mythical creatures. But that's true. That's absolutely oh, true. Calling card work. <laughs> and <laughs> Yvette uh, has sung with everyone from Engelbert Humperdinck to Justin Bieber. So you have, uh, you have, and you're quite the piano player, and you were in Greece Live, and you three are quite the accomplished uh, musicians, truly. Good. Well, thank you. We do our best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hades Town. <laughs> I, I, I love I love the show because it was it was like watching a piece of art. Um, the every every person in the cast, down to the every dancer, the ensemble, everybody, you you, know, you couldn't stop watching everyone because. Everything was, it was like watching a painting being made. For me, I had no idea. I knew nothing about it. Um, you know, I just- A kinetic went, sculpture. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I love that everyone on stage is so unique in and of itself. Everybody, the, every, every musician on stage, every actor, every ensemble member, the three of us, like everyone is so different. Our voices, our presence, our essence is so, so it's interesting that you say that because uh, I remember talking to just people from the audience and like, they would be fixated on like an ensemble member or, you know, the cello player or just anybody. Cause everyone has, is really just emitting such originality and like their, their, their presence to the stage. Yeah. yeah, no, it was really, it was really something. So Rachel Chafkin directed the hell out of that show. Yeah. Oh my God. Sure <laughs> something beautiful. I know. Yeah, she's amazing. So when when do you think? What what is your when do you think? <laughs> this is so funny. There was a meme about this the other day. They're like, so when do you think? And the actors are like, uh uh fall, spring, uh <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody, yeah. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. I ask this every week because then I can like backtrack when I have to stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh gosh. I don't well, know. you guys had a, a launch party where you and you showed uh, showed videos of this. Um, when you guys singing in harmony is really uh, and the way you guys do is such an acquired, really an acquired skill. Um, how has that process? Is, is that something that just has come naturally for you guys? Have you worked on it? And, and how much easier was it? You guys know each other's voices so well and work so much. So, was it an easier process to 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 do the harmony parts because of the show? I I think so. Just knowing how we work together and how long, you know, we. I like to tell people I spend more time with these ladies during an eight show week than I do with my own husband. So like we know each other and our musicality. And I think even upon first learning the show, I was blown away with just our sound, but also our musicality. Very like, obviously you two ladies are brilliant musicians. So it was nice, amazing to be able to work with a caliber of musicianship. So just knowing going into learning all the music for this, um, album and I I didn't doubt any of it would be it wouldn't be done well so I but it is funny I know we had a very very short time to learn all this and so there were funny and trying times in the recording studio but we pulled it off it's so smooth I mean it's so smooth you, you would never know I thought I just assumed that this was done you know a year ago because for our um, albums you have to do them early, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, the idea actually was a year ago, mm -hmm. but then it didn't work out because we were busy and it's, you know, Katie sound eight shows a week. So like, and that was only going to be like three or four songs. Oh, That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be an EP. And then, but then, you know, it was, you're right, <laughs> Lee, we should have done this a year ago, <laughs> but yeah, you know, things yeah. happen in their time, you know, things happen yeah. when they're supposed to happen. So it was perfect. I Everything happens for a reason. Cause I honestly don't think this would have happened without COVID. I don't think like if no. we come to been doing shows and got to like August, I don't think this would have come to fruition by any means. Yeah. Especially with the amount of people who are involved. The fact that it's now like a, a Hades Town holiday album, which that was never the intent originally, mm -hmm. um, is a testament to everybody wanting to come together during this time and create something, you know? Yeah. I also yeah. think that, you know, the song choices would have been really different too, because for oh. example, like I got to write a song on the album called Gift for an Angel. And like, you know, it was just, I, cause I've lost family members even through COVID, you know? And it's just that thing of like wanting to bring people peace, you know? And like the song, thank God it's Christmas or even oh. blue Christmas, like <laughs> blue, it'll be a blue Christmas without you. I'm, you know, just the lyrically, I think that the, the songs that we picked might have been different if it was a happier, yeah time so it's I, it really was like what was supposed to be made when it was supposed to be made you know and I think also the short time of it like the urgency behind it makes everyone want to show up you know like well let's figure it out let's how can we get this done and, and that momentum allows it to be made you know in a timely manner so anyway I think we need to give people just a hint of the timeline that we had okay <laughs> Yeah. Wait, let's, uh, what was it? It was like, I think I had, I, I had the label meeting in August. Is that right? Or maybe July. It was, no, I want to say. No, it was, was August because you texted us. Can you get on a call? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so then I called these ladies and I was like, okay, producer hat on, let's go. But it was August. And then I think we got the ball rolling. I want to say it was like in September mm -hmm. arrangements were being made. And then in October we were we recorded and then sent it to get mixed by the end of the month because we had to turn it in so to, so that it could be released the week before Black Friday. So it was like, ding, 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 ding. It was yeah. very workers in Hades Town, you know? Like we, had, like we had, I, I came to New York to record and by the time I got back to Toronto, which was like on the 13th or 14th, there were already first mixes for us to listen to. <laughs> that's how, that's how efficient. That's, how That's I amazing. I, I own a record label for 25 years, so oh. I don't know how you did this. I don't know how well, you did this. Where there's a will, there's a way, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Amazing what's happening in this time. How, you know, I actually, Robert and I only know each other because his musical director who's producing his album approached me in December, January, to see if I would release it on my label. And we had a conference call and I said, yes. And then we started talking in March and 
um, we had like these daily calls, which were so not productive. We just laughed a lot. And That's productive. Right. And I was <laughs> I think we're entertaining. We should have a talk show. And we started this. Have never met. Never. That's amazing. His producer on the album didn't work out so good. And Robert called me and he said, will you produce this, finish the album? And we've done the whole thing in quarantine. Not so fast. <laughs> no, I was going to say, my idea for my album was last January. Wow. And we were talking about engineering and mixing it today. So the fact that you, I, I was sitting here like, wow, I must be so <laughs> My hat is off to you because that is fast. I mean, oh, we're yeah. probably going to release like in April or something like that. So it's a long process. But doing it in in quarantine, you know, every musician has recorded their part at home. Mm -hmm. then, I mean, we have a brilliant engineer. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. We, we just found out. Can I say this? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We just found out yesterday. There's one duet on the album. And Jane Monheit is going to do the duet with Robert oh, uh, from her house. And <laughs> um, he's already Thanks. recorded his part. So we're, that was our first choice. So we're super excited about that. I am super excited about it. And um, it's literally been a year. So I, I can I listen to you guys tell the story and I'm like, this is insane. <laughs> so Robert, I mean, again, with timing, like, Maybe when it comes out next year, it's gonna be like the right time for that song. And by the way, I can't wait to hear it because I think I love her. I think she's fantastic. So what a great oh, I'll tell you this much. <laughs> Ted Firth arranged the, the duet and he said to me, Do you want to sing the harmony part or do you want to sing the melody part? And I am not like you guys. I was like, Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> melody only. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm not singing the harmony line. That's for you guys. I did the Music Man, and I was in the quartet, and I cried for four weeks straight. Oh. <laughs> no. so, you guys, that's you guys have that down pat. There's a certain you you can tell. I mean, I I felt this sort of <laughs> the show on Broadway, and certainly when listening to the album, you have a synergy that you have found, and. It is so connected. It is so, I don't even, it's like, it's just so smooth and it's it's really special. It's really good. Really there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Did you know each other before, before you got cast in the show? We didn't even, what yeah. I think is so special about the, the three of us coming together is that I've auditioned for shows where there are trios before and you know, at the audition in the audition process, they have they do different groups. They have you sing together and stuff, right? There was none of that for the three of us. We really? met the first day of rehearsal, and our voices are so distinctly different that I was like, "How is this possible?" Like I even was like, "How is this possible?" Just hearing our individual voices, but somehow we come together, and I think we so we lock in and we listen to each other so well that it just creates this unity. You know? Yeah. Did you ever ask the creative team why they didn't have you in the audition process sing together? Oh no, well, I I couldn't because I didn't I didn't come to New York. To, I sent a tape. I never. I wasn't even there. She sent a tape. Let's take a minute and reflect. <laughs> <laughs> That's she amazing. And got cast for think... this Broadway show. But she did the but Canadian version and killed it, so they knew she could deliver it already. So they knew oh, what I could do. And so they asked me to audition, but I couldn't come. And I said, I'll send you guys a tape. And that's that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> huh. I'll send you a tape. <laughs> I'm going to try that from now on. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It was it's just amazing great. that you guys didn't know each other and you got cast and it. Yeah. Just that good luck and, and synergy to be, to be out there. Yeah. And totally. totally. That's amazing. That's fantastic. I love it. I love it. The whole cast is brilliant. When the, when Broadway opens again, you know, from Reeve to Eva to, to Andre to, to everyone, um, that's that's it, literally you you guys, Patrick, you guys. There, it's just such a, a a powerhouse Broadway. You ladies, like Broadway cast and and the the score and the story and everything is just it's. Just Isn't it nice to know that you have a job to go back to? <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's yeah, 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 yeah. You know. 
Yeah, it's pretty special knowing like what show you're going back to because I know for me, it, I mean, it's so special. Just watching that high that that highlight reel, I was like happy, sad, all the feelings. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Yeah. It's <laughs> nice to revisit and to remember how blessed we are to have been in this show in the first yeah. place. Yeah. And I know a lot of a lot of people are really missing live theater. Besides the performers, I know that the fans out there. I was I was stalking you all's uh, Hades Town fan groups and the, the love that they were sending to you <laughs> ladies for coming on and like the the impact that the show has and and Broadway has and theater has to children and adolescents and adults uh, around the world is such a, a a special connection that the artists and the the, the audience has. And I think we as a as a society we really miss it. I know I really miss it. I know you guys miss it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, theater absolutely. is so important to society. I think you know, like to to be able to gather. It's been around forever, as long as there's people. Like to gather as a community and tell stories and see ourselves on stage and just have that exchange. It's so it's so important. So I mean, yeah. I mean, I definitely miss it too. Yeah, the arts are essential. Frontline yeah, they are. are essential, and the arts are essential because what would people be doing to? fill that void if there was no art. Like, I, I honestly don't know what people would do. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Whoever thought, you know? I mean, we go, we do our thing, you know, musicians and singers and, and whoever thought that we would be in a situation where our work would be the very last thing that would be able to come back. Do you know what I mean? I mean, in yeah. some some mediums are coming back. Like obviously, TV and film is like making its way back. Juju was able to do something in a, in a TV production in Canada, so that was cool. And like, yeah. you know, so things are, you know, but theater is is what you can't really. It's a tougher, it's slow going, it's a tougher beast. Even TV is slow going. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there's no crowd scenes. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> there's no extra work. There's no sag waiver extra work out there. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. oh gosh! What are you doing for the holidays? Did you like? Are you are you guys going to be? Uh, do you have your families around? And some of you, you know, what what are you guys doing? Are you going to be playing the Christmas album in the background as you cut the Christmas ham on the table? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm here with my family, so in my parents' house. So yeah, I'd love to awesome. be with them for sure. Um, my husband and I bought an RV during this time and it was all so we can travel safely to see my family in Arizona. I'm still a little hesitant, even though I know it's like the safest thing you can actually do and they're going to quarantine. So, so fingers crossed. I think it's happening. <laughs> we, did, we did a little RV adventure in October. Yeah. 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 That won't happen again. No. <laughs> What happened? I think what I realized is that you can divide the population into two groups: those that camp and those that don't, <laughs> or those that glamp. Yeah, so, there's a the glamping. We were, there's a we were glamping. We got like one of those Sadie's <laughs> Sprinter vans. Yeah, you did. Yeah, really nice, really nice. But they're very small, and I'm like six <laughs> four. My partner <laughs> six feet. At the time, we had two seventy pound dogs. Now we have three. <laughs> Because we, wow. we adopted a rescue in quarantine. It was so confining. Yeah. It was nice. We went to Utah to Zion National Park. And That's nice. gorgeous. It, it was gorgeous, but it was a little, it was a little tight. <laughs> hey, you're going to have a great time. You guys go. Don't, <laughs> have you never done this before? Thank you. No, we, so we had, no, that's why. We just, and you we bought, bought an RV. We bought a 31 footer. So we got the space. Yeah. So 31 feet. Um, and then the, we have one slider. So it opens up even larger on the side once we're parked. We have two little 13 pound dogs. So it'll be great. Um, we did. So after we bought the RV this uh, fall, we went on three camping weekend trips. So about four days each and like it's great we we know i read the manual like two or three times oh. i'm in a facebook group with like the gulf stream rv owner like i am on it because my husband has to drive yeah. i don't have a license so i make sure to do all the research and all the safety stuff like we need to know because this is important and safety I first in the yes. I <laughs> drive. I drive that rv yes. you, you needed to call Kay when you went on your trip she i know <laughs> and you liked it 
It works. I love it. Okay. It works. Yeah. And Yvette, I hope you can see And I feel safe me. because like you you have your home on wheels and you don't have to really interact with anybody. <laughs> You're isolated. Yeah. 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 That's great. Wow. What about you, Yvette? I mean, I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but my family's all in Miami. So I, you know, I've been really just hesitant to get over there. And I actually got COVID a month ago. Um, I came to LA after doing a show, which is really cool. And I... I have a tenant in my place here and then they got it and then they gave it to me and I'm mad, but it went away. So that's good. But the whole idea that it could, you could just get it so easily. And you know, if you let your guard down, you could give it to a bunch of other people like that. Just, I don't want to put my family in danger. Like I, I if I had gone at the beginning of quarantine, obviously it'd be different, but my younger sister is out here in California where I'm at right now with her husband. So we'll probably do a little something. And I have, friends that are wanting to do like Christmas karaoke in the backyard. So, yeah. you know, it might, <laughs> with like a mask and a microphone, it could be fun. But, uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to just like, you know, try and look on the bright side of things and, you know, and I know that there's, you know, obviously nothing goes on forever. Right. So there is an end to this. It's just like, we don't know exactly when, but I feel like it's coming. So I think I'm trying to just stay positive. And, you know, are, you, are you in LA? I'm in LA right now, yeah. Me too. Oh my God, that's Where so cool. Where are you? I'm in the Valley, right by the Trader Joe's. So, There's like three Trader Joe's in the Valley. That doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't really help. It doesn't help at all. But where are you at? I'm in Hancock Park, right near Paramount Studios. Cute, I know exactly where that is. Yeah. That's they, so fun. You go to Lee's house, sit by the pool. He'll cook for you. He has leftover turkey. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> don't tempt me because I won't be yeah. like, <laughs> listen to your album. Well, I know that for our, me and Lee's holiday, I'm in Jersey and Lee's, Lee's in LA, and we will be definitely listening to your holiday album. What I thought about while you guys were singing is when the world opens and, and Broadway opens and theater opens, you three and the cast are going to be an explosion on that stage. I can only, uh, I can't imagine the electricity in the air when Broadway's back and you guys are back on stage. It's going to be a moment. It's yeah. Gonna be, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Thanks for, <laughs> for putting that vision in our head. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's going to be one of two things. Either yeah. everybody like, oh, I can't wait to be back, or how does this work again? There is going to be a new normal. I don't think it will ever be as it was. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we just don't know what that is yet. You yeah. know? But it will come back. I mean, theater has always rebounded. You know, yes. so it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, people find a way to tell stories, you know, like the, I, I heard about a play the other day, a play or musical, I'm not sure, but they used plexiglass in it. Like they made it part of the show. And it's like a small theater somewhere, but you know, you try and they're trying it. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, this has been such a joy. I want to put that album cover up again so everybody can see it. It's oh. everywhere. You can find <laughs> music. It is stunning. Stunning. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I run through the hills of New Jersey listening to it. Like <laughs> it is beautiful. Really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It was so fun chatting with you. Thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, thanks on. for having us. Thank you. Have a great holiday. Happy, healthy New Year. Stay safe. And we will see you soon. Yes. Absolutely. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. You. Love, love, love. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. How fun. They oh are so stunning. So, so stunning on stage and so sweet and wonderful uh, to talk Just to. Just loved them. it. Just loved uh, it. I can't wow. believe they made that album in, in two months. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Josh. I see Josh online. We have had an influence on someone. He bought an album, and and he commented before that we I have my Hanukkah sweater and menorah, and we are all encompassing here. But yes, Josh, thanks for for you're gonna love the album. It's it's beautiful. so good. It's really good. Um, we had such a wonderful hour. The time flies. I miss fly you. Up. Last week, I was like, what am I doing on third? I mean, I was with my family, my immediate family, and we ate turkey and all, but I'm at 7 o'clock. It's, it's not me. I was sad. 
Well, next week, next week, we're so excited. Three of our um, favorite artists are celebrating album releases. Um, Aaron Lazar, who is one of the stars of the new Fox dramedy, Filthy Rich with Kim Cattrall. He created a Broadway lullaby album with every track is a different Broadway star. Um, really beautiful. Liz Calloway um, uh, recorded a holiday album with um, a fabulous guitar player, all in quarantine. And Matt Bloyd just released uh, a holiday album that is has one of the most stunning renditions of Hallelujah that he sings with Jeremy Jordan that just like will knock you out. Yes. It's crazy. And then we have Shoshana Bean, one of the greatest voices ever. Uh, she, on Saturday the 12th of December, next Saturday, is um, uh, presenting live from the Apollo Theater in New York with a whole bunch of incredible guests Tony winner Gavin Creel and Daniel J. Watts. And I, I'm, I should have a list. I don't, yeah. but there it's going to be amazing. And it's Jeremy great. Jordan too. Uh, yes. Uh, and more. And she's going to join us to talk about that. So we have a jam packed show. When this show started back 30 something weeks ago, when me and Lee talked about our dream guest list, Shoshana was on it. So I'm so happy she's going to be here because we're both uh, fans and, I, and and it will be a great hour. But she's just fantastic. She's just- What an hour, Lee. This week, next week. Watch out. <laughs> the week after that, we have Barack Obama, Oprah, the Pope, Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> They all have Christmas albums. I saw on Facebook today that Queen Elizabeth was um, looking for an assistant. Do you think that's real? Because I would apply. I, I think she, and she was horseback riding at 94. I'm scared to go horseback riding now. And she's 94 and she's horseback riding away. Crazy. Lee, that's your European dream. You and the queen. Horseback riding. Out on the English estate. I love it. Listen to the Hades Town if the Fates Allow album is beautiful. So nice. It's so nice. Robert, Thank as you. always, it's a pleasure. I'll see you next Thursday. Thursday. Everybody stay safe, stay home, wear a mask, mm -hmm. except when you eat. Yes. There you go. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.